In this video, I'll show you how to populate new roles in a Google Sheet whenever you receive emails. It's really easy to get set up with this, and I'm using a service called make.com for this. Start off by pressing Gmail, and then go to this watch emails. From here, if you have a Google Workspace account, just press add, and it's really quick to go through the authentication process. A pop-up window will show up, and you can just authenticate with that. If you're using a personal Google or Gmail account, then you will likely have other steps involved with that authentication. There are other guides online for how to get set up with that. But let's say you have a connection set up. You click on this folder and I'm going to select inbox. So it's going to be watching out for new emails in the inbox. Now to start with, I'm going to use a simple filter. You can use a Gmail filter later on, which adds a lot more control of the types of emails that you want to then send to this Google Sheet in this instance. I'm going to start off with a simple filter and I'm just going to select all emails. I'm going to select no here and then for maximum number of results, I'm going to select one. So every time I click run once, it's only going to pick up one email every time. Later on, we can schedule this and then have a lot more results shown up here. So I'll get it so it will only pick up emails from now on. Otherwise, if you want to process your entire history of emails, then you can select all emails from there. So I press save. Now I have a Google Sheet set up here. And I'm going to select this plus icon, go to Google Sheets and select add a row. Again, I'll add my connection here. I've already set up my connection here. If you need to add it, press add, go through a very similar authentication process that you went for Gmail. I'm going to search by path, then I'm just going to go through the folders. So I've selected my spreadsheet ID here. Sheet name is the first sheet name. Table contains headers. So it will automatically pick up the column headers as you see here, date, subject, email address. Now all I need to do is select each of these fields and you see date here, subject, email message, can be the text content, sender name is this, and sender email address is that. Press OK. Again, I'll double check. It's only picking these up from now on. Press run once and nothing shows up. So what we do is I'm going to send a test email to this inbox on Gmail, and then I'm going to run this again. After that, we can set it as scheduled, and then this will run whenever you want it to run. Okay, I've just sent myself a test email there and I'm going to now pick that up. So I press run once there and this has now been updated and there we go. That's looking good. So we have the date, the subject, email message, the name. However, the date is in this awkward date time format, which we can update separately. So I'll do that right now. Now in this, we can go up to the top and go to date. Then I'm going to select format date. Then I'm going to select my date as you see it here. And then the date time format can be whatever you want. So I'm going to pick date, month, year, and just leave it at that. You could even have separate columns for the date and the time where you could just add in this format, but just change this date format here to only select the time, for example. I'm just going to go with this for the moment. So I'll press save. I just sent myself one more test message. Let's see that. So now that date is in that format that we want. Of course, we could change that to whatever you want. Here we're transferring that data to Google Sheets, but we could also do lots of other things like, for example, create a task in our task management system through ClickUp, or you could send yourself a Slack message, for example. Another option is to use this query to further refine what emails you're actually going to pick up in this automation. So for example, you could set up a label in Gmail and have it so that it only picks up where the label is invoice. Or you could say where I've attached label of invoice or where the word invoice appears in the subject line or the text, then pick up that as well. Gmail search query is quite advanced, so you can really refine exactly what you want and just test the results in this search box up here to see what results you're getting just copy and paste that directly into here. In a separate video, I'm going to be explaining how you auto upload attachments from Gmail directly to Google Drive. And you can also use filters to narrow down the types of emails that you want this to take place in. So check out the link in the description for that. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll you get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.